Hey, Brother Roy here, Old School Bible Baptist Ministries. I know you're probably saying, what in the world <laughs> are you making a video about Mike Tyson and Jake Paul? So we call this one, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, what do the Bible say? Let's pray. Father, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for our salvation. Thank you for your perfect word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so, hey, hey I'm going somewhere with this. Uh, 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 give, give me a minute, all right? So, of course, we know that the amazing fighter, Mike Tyson, is going to fight the YouTube guy, Jake, Fa Jake Paul, and uh, Mike Tyson's 58, and Jake Paul's going to be 28. <laughs> Amen. So uh, <clears throat> there's a there's a whole elder thing going on here that if you look in your Bible to First Timothy chapter five, uh, you'll see how see how I work this in. Amen. First Timothy chapter five it says this, verse one: Rebuke not an elder, but rather but entreat him as a father and the younger men as brethren. And then if you look down at verse 17, let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor, especially they who labor in the word and doctrine. All throughout the scripture, honor thy father and mother, there is the principle, the precept, of respecting your elders. There is a rule there, and it's consistent throughout Scripture. And here in a Pauline epistle to the church age, we see the same thing, uh, that we are to respect our elders. And so that's what he says here. He says to not rebuke him. Don't rebuke an elder. Somebody's this, this older than you, you don't rebuke them. Hey, hey, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't bark at them like you would a child or maybe even someone your own age. You don't, you don't talk to them like that because of his age and experienced. Even if, even if the person is mistaken, you have to speak to them a certain kind of way because that's that's just biblical. That is respect. I I I, I could talk to my brother one way, but I got to go speak to my father differently. Amen. And that's, that's, that's the way it is. Um, it's never a good look for a young man to try to go and in a spirit of rebuke and authority, talk down to an older man. It's never a good look. It's, uh, it's never in the right spirit. The Bible tells us here that you are to entreat them. To entreat is to, like, to beseech or to ask urgently. Okay? When you, when you go to, like, when you were a child and you had to go to your father, you didn't come up and tell him what to do. If you wanted to get him around to your way of thinking, you had to ask urgently. You had to beseech because he had the authority. You had to approach him differently than you and your little brother, where you just go in and tell him what to do. You know that's rebuke. We don't we don't rebuke the elder. So um, it's never a good look. And whether you're right or wrong in the scenario, you're still wrong if you do it in the wrong spirit. Amen. So I see if you're wrong in the way you're right, you're wrong even if you are right. Let me say that again. If you're wrong in the way you're right, you're wrong even if you are right. Of course, you see that a lot, uh, you know, Facebook, YouTube, online. You see the uh, uh, some kids sitting sitting in his bedroom somewhere on, on a keyboard just popping off and being smart alecky to, you know, a bunch of old seasoned men of God. And, uh, you know, it, it's not a good look. It's not in the right spirit. It's uh, uh, it's rebellious. It, it it's cocky. It's prideful, and that's not that's not the way we're supposed to 
conduct ourselves and and walk and and the same thing with your when you're in your church uh your elder in your church is your pastor and hey your pastor may be wrong and you may be right about something but because of his position as an elder you don't just come and rebuke him like he's some kid you gotta you have to approach in the right spirit and just like a child with the father you have to entreat or beseech, you know, you, it, there's a different, there's a different level of communication there. So, so you got, the, now, now let's get back on topic, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, right? Um, here's what I'm saying. All right. I have been a martial artist for over 50 years. I was in prison for 30 years. So that was something that was always known about me when I was in prison, because when I was in prison, I taught martial arts. I was on the boxing team in two state penitentiaries. So that's something that everybody always knew about old brother Roy is, uh, you know, bro bro brother Roy got them skills. And uh, so as I began to age, as I, I began to get older in prison, I was 61 years old when I got out. But up until, even up until that time, when it, and, and we, this would be sometimes mostly kind of joking, but uh, sometimes a little bit kind of not, if you know what I mean. Because uh, even when you're joking, sometimes there there is a level of truth there that you just kind of are sliding across by keeping it light and breezy, by, by, by keeping it, you know, keeping it joking, but you might actually be saying something. Do you know what I'm, you know what I mean? So here's, here's what the conversation I would have sometimes. I said, listen, you have a, a, a problem with me and we got to get down. I said, you can't win. You can't win. Cause number one, <laughs> if I whoop you, <laughs> which is what's probably going to happen. Then everybody going to be telling you, how'd you let that little old man whoop you? But if you happen to whoop me, you still lost because everybody going to be like, man, what are you doing beating up on that little old man? So, hey, win, lose or draw. If you fight me, you can't win. <laughs> and that's basically the spiritual parable or illustration uh, that, that I see in the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, uh, just either way, either way. If, if, if Mike Tyson beats Jake Paul, Jake Paul looks bad. And if Jake Paul beats up on a almost 60 year old man, he looks bad. Jake Paul can't win either way. And that's the way it is. When we go to these spiritual illustrations, look, you, you may go in and wah, 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 to a, to an elder or to your pastor wah, 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 and feel like you won. <laughs> But you didn't because you did it wrong and it's a bad look and you lose either way. It's all about that respect. Okay. Yeah, I know this was a different one, but, uh, 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 Hey, I hope it was a blessing to you and, uh, we'll get, we'll get back on, on the more biblical topics in the next video. God bless you. I just love, I just love, I still love boxing and MMA and all that stuff. I still work out. I, uh, uh I had my, my, uh, a cellmate who was my cellmate for the last five and a half years that I was in prison. And uh, he got out of prison Monday. And of course, you know, we trained all the time in a cell together and he's really good. But, you know, we trained with a prison mattress rolled up, tied with prison sheets. You know, that's what we held. But so he, for his first time, you know, he just he just did 15 years flat. <laughs> for winning a gunfight. <laughs> and, uh, Hey, he got here and we went out behind the church and I hung, hung my heavy bag. I brought, broke all my, all my professional equipment out. And yesterday we just had a time. He, he enjoyed himself so much, uh, his, his first time doing it with, with, with all the real stuff. Uh, it was a, it was a real blessing. It was, uh, you know, Hey, it's good, manly sport exercise. As long as you're not getting into that mystical oriental uh, uh, stuff that comes with some of the, those uh, martial arts about energy and chi and, you know, all that 
all, all that pagan demonic nonsense. As long as it's just good gymnasium sports, uh, that's just healthy. That's just manly. And as Christians, we are supposed to be masculine and manly and able to defend ourselves and our family and our country. Uh, that's just good stuff. You know, uh, I, 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 hey, I ain't got a feminine bone in my body. You know, Adam had one feminine bone in his body and God removed it. Amen. Okay, I'm done. We'll see you in the next one.